Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to apply your lash extensions on the top or from underneath. If this is your first time watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So we're going to hop right into it. This is nothing new. We're going to do a quick product run through. I think that it'll be best to do the invisible band lash kit simply because of the fact that you want your extensions to be seamless. You don't want anybody to be able to see if you're wearing them where they start where they stop which is really neat about having invisible band lashes now and especially if you put them on on top normally with a strip lash you have that heavy thick band so when you close your eye you can actually see there is a band there versus if it's an invisible band you can't see that the band is there especially if you're going to apply your lashes on top. After that you want to have your bonding seal so get your bonding seal. I have my extra bonding seal which is the waterproof sealing because we want them to last longer right if we're trying to get above five days or more you want to work with this one here make sure you have your tweezers make sure you have some applicators in addition don't forget to have a mirror on this side of my face i'm going to be applying them on top this side of my face i'm going to be putting them underneath all right awesome so i'm going to just flip my hair out the way i have you guys right and center on this eye we're just going to get started First things first, take your brush, comb your natural lashes. Lash growth update. We are now above 45 days with our lash growth. Guys, I did a length check and let me tell you, do you see a difference, honey? Because I'm starting to see that they are actually growing. So I'm going to link all the details on the lash growth serum that I have been using. But I think I am now 50 days in almost 60 days get your bond side we're doing a quick application like i said same steps as always all right now i'm going to go ahead and take my pieces i'm doing the dot eye i'm doing the most easiest lash map all the way possible if you're still trying to figure out lash mapping I'm going to insert a video on the screen for you guys to watch the most recent video my last video that i posted was all dedicated to that so if you want to get caught up on like the diys and the different lash masks you can go ahead and find that there i guess i just don't like that hair type but i'm going to take my 16 to the center the corner so when you're applying this and you push up so you want to take it from the center and go underneath and come upwards going like that into your lashes okay same here I'm gonna place a 14 right here going underneath like a hook see like that this side right here and I'm gonna go underneath like a hook so it's like you're catching the lashes and I'm placing that right here kind of like overlapping in a sense so now here we are we've gone underneath where we go from here this way we're going to stick directly on the top okay and we're going to follow the same technique so we're going to take our bonsai and we're going to take our lashes so i have you guys close and personal we are now on this side of my face where i'm going to apply them from the top if you have curly lashes this technique more than likely is going to be a little difficult for you because your lashes curl into it or if you have naturally straight lashes the technique will be different because your lashes curl in the opposite direction so i'm going to try to do this i'm going to go ahead and do the same concept of putting glue in my hairs taking it from the top to oops, to be careful the 16 and i'm just going to go on top with it Fourteen here on top okay so they're going on there it's just squeezing them with the glue being tacky. That's going to be an issue that you're running into in a way. Mm-hmm. 
So it's like going in like this. And it's on there, the 12 in this corner with the squeezing. It's like they're going on there, but like Oh, there it is. So I just switched my scissor and pushing it down. Yeah, so this is what it looks like with them on top versus the bottom. And your sealant, for this, you're just applying sealant. So you can apply your sealant. This is a strong sealant, it's, it's also by the way. So. You can just apply your sealant at where you connected your lashes, to the natural lashes, to the base of the cluster hair. And this stuff is so strong. My work looks so much more cleaner on this eye than it does on the other eye. I already tapped it and like you can see a little bit of the adhesive residue on the back of the spoolie. That's what I meant when I said like going underneath, you're going to hit that glue and you want to try to get it on there as much as possible. Like going on top, I don't know if you guys can see this, but like my lashes, they look like they're not all the way at the base. If you can see it from this angle they don't look like they're all the way from the base, like right here. Like they're not at my skin, like my lid. They look like I couldn't get them all the way to the base. So that's with the on top technique. And I'm just applying this and applying this and applying this and being gentle at the same time. And then I'm gonna go in and just squeeze. And squeeze squeeze and squeeze and then same concept over here squeeze 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 and squeeze just like that this is how they look just like this I'm gonna give you guys one more close-up and then if I just pull like this then you can really see over here looks a lot more cleaner neater work if for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching let me know what you think if the top technique was easier for you or the bottom technique was easier for you going underneath is just easy for me the coordination is more easier my natural lashes do not curl downward so i am able to apply them from going underneath and pushing into my eyelashes however doing the top technique is something that if you um have natural curly lashes you may struggle with because now there's a battle between the lashes curling upwards into your lid and then you're trying to place something flat on top of it so it's literally doing this this is the curl this is the lash you're pushing it on top but it's not really going to grip all the way because of the simple fact that you're not hitting it from the actual base. You're hitting it from the tips. Okay, but other than that, I was able to accomplish getting it on top and underneath. Let me know again how you feel about the on top technique and the underneath technique. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.